From UFOs to ghost and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. On July 16, 1945, U.S. scientists detonated the first nuclear bomb. This explosion generated more power than 20,000 tons of TNT, was visible for 200 miles, and ushered in a new era of warfare. Of all mankind's weapons, nuclear missiles are, by far, the most destructive. A war between nuclear-armed states could reshape the world, changing the atmosphere while killing millions. These weapons must be controlled but it's difficult to estimate the size of a country's stockpile. The steps needed to make nuclear fuel are nearly identical to the steps needed to build a bomb, and states guard their nuclear secrets closely. Luckily, the United Nations has attempted to stop the spread of nuclear arms, reducing the possibility of nuclear war. Through the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, or NPT, of 1968, 189 countries pledged to prevent the spread of nuclear weaponry while reducing any existing stockpiles. It hasn't worked. In fact, it seems that some of the nuclear-powered countries claiming to prevent the growth of nukes may actually be spreading them to nations across the globe. Here's where it gets crazy. The United States, France, China, the United Kingdom, and Russia possess nuclear weapons, and they've all signed the NPT. But other countries have made their own nuclear arsenals. South Africa, Libya, and some former Soviet states eventually gave up their nuclear ambitions, but several other nations, such as Pakistan, North Korea, and India, still own nuclear weapons. They have no plans to disarm or sign the NPT. Israel may be the strangest case. Almost all experts agree that Israel has a nuclear stockpile, but the country refuses to confirm or deny this allegation. However, when Israeli nuclear technician Mordecai Benunu exposed Israel's nuclear weapons program, he was jailed for more than 18 years. He is still not allowed to leave Israel. How could four countries acquire nuclear weapons after more than 100 other nations agreed to prevent it? That's a sensitive subject. When the U.S. made a deal with India, supplying it with nuclear material and enrichment equipment, it claimed that India was not a nuclear power. Yet the rest of the world, including the Federation of American Scientists, agrees that India has somewhere between 40 to 80 nuclear warheads, and India's first nuclear test occurred in 1974. India's neighboring rival Pakistan also possesses nuclear weapons, due to the work of a scientist named A.Q. Khan. While Khan maintains that his team created nuclear weaponry via independent research, others believe he had help from an outside source, most likely China. Additionally, A.Q. Khan is believed to be one of the guiding forces for North Korea's nuclear program, and, according to the BBC, the United Kingdom supplied uranium and heavy water for Israel's still unacknowledged nuclear program, while France supplied a reactor. Let's also not forget that under the NATO sharing agreement, U.S. nukes have been located in several countries throughout Europe. This makes for a depressing track record. Four of the countries sworn to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons have been accused of passing them out like party favors, placing their state's geopolitical interest over the global interest of a nuclear-free world. As nuclear research continues in Iran, aided in part by Russia, we must ask, have countries really stopped spreading nuclear technology, or only made it more politically profitable? How many more countries will have nukes over the next decade? Most importantly, what happens when someone decides to fire?